unveiled 2024 Dodge Charger is finally upon us. Here are six things absolutely no one, not even journalists, are talking about. So you'll be hearing it first here at Carjewel. Let's get started. The original 60A to 70 Chargers were offered with inline six engines. Little did people know, this isn't the first time a Charger was offered with a straight six engine. Dodge has been so successful at marketing their V8 powered muscle cars, little attention was paid to the less powerful base variant. The 1968 Dodge Charger, the generation this new car is based on, was offered with a tall block 225 cubic inches 3.7 liters slant 6 engine producing 145 horsepower and 215 foot-pounds of torque. That twin-turbo inline 6 hurricane engine doesn't sound so bad now, does it? At one point, chargers were even offered with four-cylinder engines, but we're not going to get into that at all. This is the most charger charger ever. The new charger might be even more charger than the original. And how is this possible? Let me explain. First, you have the 1968 B-body design DNA through and through. Second is the return of the two-door body style. Third is the name itself. It's almost as if Dodge already knew at some point cars will eventually plateau with internal combustion engines and go fully electric with features that cannot be matched from the traditional fuel burner such as instant torque, lower center of gravity, and near-perfect weight distribution, all of which will make the Charger a better performance muscle car more than ever. Whether you like it or not, there isn't a better name suited for electric drivetrains than Charger. And no, I will not make any dad jokes or puns here. It is wider than the current wide-body chargers. Even though it doesn't look like it, the new charger is wider than the current wide-bodies. That's right, it is actually almost an inch wider on each side. How is this possible? Well, if you look at the narrow-body chargers, they have very little shoulders over each corner. Shoulder is how car designers describe how far the body side sticks out from the side glass. Now, look at the current white body chargers. Imagine draping a piece of fabric over the shoulder and the white body fenders. The way it smoothly blends the two elements together to create one continuous surface, it won't look as wide to the naked eye. That is exactly what goes on with the 24 charger. It is wide AF, but it isn't obvious. And besides, the dimensions says it all. If the new car gets any wider, it will, by federal law, be required to have three amber clearance lights you see on wide trucks such as the TRX, Raptors, and Dualies. Isn't that nuts? So chances are, you might be seeing chargers driving around with three amber lights up front and three red ones at the back. Could be kind of cool. The R-Wing name. Ever wondered why the aero grill at the front is called the R-Wing? According to Tim Kaniskis, it is named after the senior vice president of design at Stellantis, Ralph Gilles. It is a wing going across the front grill and you use the first letter of Ralph's initial. Voila! And if you imagine the car without the R-Wing, it will be left with a pointy nose just like the first Charger Daytona from 1969. And now you also know why the electric version carries the name Daytona. Fret sock has no meaning. Modern day Dodge fans will have no clue as to where this mysterious logo came from. Everyone is asking what in the world is a fret sock. Well, you are all excused from this one because this logo was first introduced in the early 1960s. Nobody knew what it was or meant. It was designed to show the high-tech and aviation-themed Dodges of those days, an era that was occupied by the space race. How about the name? It was made up by its designer on the spot. So really, this logo has no meaning behind it. It was just cool. Six-pack origin. 
From this day on, everyone will know the name six pack defines the number of cylinders for the charger. But did you know the name six pack originated from the old carbureted days of muscle cars? Some Mopar V8s were offered with three sets of carburetors that used two barrels each, packing a total of six barrels. Thus, the name six pack was born. However, the spelling of the name has changed. Originally, Dodge had it as six space pack. Now, the name is one word altogether, no space, just six pack. Bet you didn't know that, did you? So, why six things? Dodge seems to love the number six. In keeping with the spirit of the brand, you now know six more things about the new chapter of American Muscle. Thanks for watching.